I know how to start that. Start it off. Start the shit off. You said fuck me, I mean, and I was like, "Cool." That not a good. So now what's the problem? Is that not a good intro starter? Oh, I was I was expecting like the actual song. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another Flycast episode eighty four. Eighty four. We're getting up there today. He's a special one. I, th- I think we're a guest. Pe- we're a guest pod now. Are we? We're we host the pod, but we bring on guests. That's what we do now. Well, it's just hard. Third guest in a row. It's hard. Shot seat. Then baller, shot caller, Paige, Paige Reed. I still feel bad about that podcast. Why? Because I was just fucking hungover beyond belief, no and I just way. feel like my brain was mush. Just it was a shit show. But we have formal here with us today. I've hey. been thinking of questions all week. Have you? No. I just, okay. I, was I forgot that. Back. Like, I forgot you were on until today. Oh, okay. Well, I feel like I was flattered. <laughs> now I just hurt. <laughs> so I feel like I haven't. I don't think. Actually, I've seen you, but we're so like distant now that you're here. Distant Everyone's in Dallas. Physically. Both. Damn. What you been up to? I feel like Showing. it's been like six months. Nah. I think it had like really? you haven't yeah, <laughs> like I think everyone started going to um the, downtown yeah, yeah downtown at like in like January I mean like my lease is up in like two months or something and then I'll figure it out but I mean I like it here like nah. I mean, really just me Davis and Brandon yeah we're gonna ride this out till they kick us out yeah that's how I feel is yeah. it just like a comfy it's like a big living like, room. It's kind of yeah. like like imagine if everyone left the scuff house, but like they were like Nick, you can stay for four more months. You can more. stay in the basement. I would have still been in that milk bitch. optic even more. I would have done it, and it would have been nice. It would have been nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much what I'm. I can't. I can't imagine. I mean, I can't imagine. But this is so like uh, walk out of your apartment, you walk over, it's just like such a chill. There's not many people. <laughs> and I know you love that. Yeah, I just and know. I know the fact that we all, everyone's moving downtown. You're just fucking god, dude. <laughs> like to walk out of. There's a few apartments, a few places by the new place that you could live in and just walk out of. But it's like you walk out, it's just like hella people. There are some crackheads, nice, some and nice. I just know you would be so fucking annoyed. <laughs> like, I was like, he is yeah, not going to move down. That's here. pretty much why I've been like stalling it, just because like I know it's going to be a lot different, like living in a city. It's just like a different vibe, and it's, I've never really been about that. So I feel like I mean, you could, though. I mean, I could. I definitely can. <laughs> I just uh, like I, just I feel like not to. I feel like you could enjoy the city life mm. if, like, you move down there because, like, the production team and Paige and everyone kind of hangs out a lot. And I don't know if you'd like want to hang out with. Well, like, no, that or that's like get school, out. But... I feel like it'd be different because you're and i'm sure you'd like it down here because like you sort of do the same thing every day you just you come here yeah, grind whatever I my pattern is. but down there yeah it's such like a pattern of like the same shit every day but down there i feel like there'd be some new stuff to get into mm-hmm. you can still do a pattern down there though for sure i mean yeah 100 percent. but it's just like we can is bruce you think bruce is moving explore downtown? the world I mean, brand's gonna have to yeah. I think he's gonna. He's probably. I don't know if Brand's gonna come back before the HQ's gone because I think their off season's super long. Oh, it's long. And I just know he like when he goes home. Like I can't blame him. Like he's gonna want to stay there for a long time, and like he's gonna get comfortable there. Why does he go home? Because huh? he likes his family. Am I the? Yeah. Am I the like the only one that? Doesn't well, I like feel his like family. you don't visit that much. Okay. Dude. Well, first of all, <laughs> his brother was here like don't two just, weeks ago. Just don't don't like. <laughs> don't, like Someone join yeah, me in this. Of the fact you. that like I'm a shit I was family just, member. I was at home. Uh, I go home for like Christmas. Yeah. And then like last time I was at home, I stayed for a month. Cause like my mom kept getting sad that I was leaving, so I just kept like rebooking my ticket for like a week and then a week and then a week and then it turned to a month. But uh, yeah, I love my family. So fuck you. <laughs> hey, I love my family too. It's crazy. I remember moving out, and when I first moved out, it was like I'm gonna visit all the time. Like I, I love yeah. y'all. But it's just hard. <laughs> once I fucking moved out, to I feel bad for my mom because it's like your it's your baby that you raised this whole time till I was like I don't know 23 or something when I moved out. 
but then just one day I'm like, yeah, I'm moving. And, or I'm like, I'm moving in a month. And she's like, oh shit, really? Okay. And then the day comes and I move out and then I'm just back like once a year now. And it's just, mm -hmm. I feel like that must fucking suck. As that's how my, I mean, that's how my yeah. mom was. When I, I told her, I was like, I got a job. I, I got like a job offer in Chicago. I have to go. She was like, whoa, whoa. Like, tell uh, me more about it. I was like, there's no time. Mm. I have to go. But she like visits too. We, we, I mean, she never visited the scuff house, but she's visited here like three or, or four or five times. So does your mom ever come here? Mm -hmm. I know your my mom sometimes here? offers to come here, but I just saw like there's nothing really to do here. Oh, yeah. Like, um, she'll come to events too, and like I'll see her there, uh, when she wants to like really see me. But yeah, my brother was just here, uh, for the last event. That was like the first event. It was like the first event I actually like spent like with my brother, like at an event. He roomed with me, like really? yeah, it, did, gave him the did, whole did you experience. Like it? Uh, I mean, it was fine. Because I feel like when you're in an event, you want to, like, lock in. You don't want to... No, like, he's not, You don't like, want to have to entertain. Like, no, nah, like, me and my brother get along, like, super well. Like, he's a lot like me, like... Paige said y'all are exactly like... Yeah, me. like, we're... She was like, it was fucking weird, because <laughs> I felt like I was talking to Matt. Dude, she was... Yeah, Paige was, like, a bit annoying. But, uh... <laughs> uh... <laughs> Our last, uh, yeah. our last, she was our last guest. Um, but yeah, my brother, he, he's super cool. Like he's like five years older, so like it's cool to show him like the shit that I've always like kind of wanted to show him because we play video games together, and like he's the only reason I really started playing Halo. To be honest, like he had the Xbox, he had Halo Two, yeah. he had Xbox Live. You so it was like what do you have to do to? Dude, I used to have to like <laughs> deprive him to give you some yeah, fucking Xbox I had to, like, time. I used to have to like. Cause like, I mean, like he'd be sleeping and shit. Like when he was awake, he didn't want me in his room. Just like an older brother, little brother yeah. thing. Right. So like, I was like, fuck it. So like, I'd have to wake up at like, I'd set an alarm for like 2 AM. Right. And I would like go, <laughs> I would go into his room sometimes with like a cold Coke. Cause that was like my like little bribe to him. Like I'd, I'd sneak so in, weird. put it on his desk and then just like turn the Xbox on and then turn the the volume all the way down and play like team snipers from like 2 AM to like 5 AM. And then I'd get off and like go back to bed. <laughs> but it was just like so fun. Like, I'm, like, fucking 10 years old, 8 years old, just, like, loving it. Um, but, yeah, that was my, like, first, in, like, Halo 2 experience with my little voice mask on and, like, talking shit to people. We were talking about it a little before how, well, I was, because Hitch was <laughs> over here playing, like, Black Ops 2, and I was like, dude, I just, I haven't played a video game in, like, three months. Really? And I feel like, yeah. And I what? feel like I have no, apps. been streaming. IRL streaming. Oh, But, really? like, even, I'm not. When I was gaming, I could play every day, just fucking Halo, get pounded or something. But like with IRL streaming, it's like I gotta sort of figure something out, and it's it sort of became a hassle. Like I tried getting like yeah. an IRL bike stream, <laughs> like literally, <laughs> me and Matt set it up. Like I had a whole fucking like tripod sticking out from my bicycle trying to stream and shit, and it was just the biggest fail. It was just wait, wait what? Why did it fail? Uh, how we set it up the. It's hard to explain, but like this would be upwards, and as I'm riding, I'm going over bumps, and this is just uh, falling okay, more and more. Oh and it's God. this would like be holding my camera, and it just would keep falling through because <laughs> there's so many cracks, just wobbling and tweaking. And, yeah, and, <laughs> and then like the sun just makes my phone overheat. Oh, uh, dude, nice. but I can't imagine. There's gotta be something for that. I raw streaming's been uh, it's been. Dude, he was streaming at Target. It's been kind of just fun. like looking in the aisles. Like, would you guys buy I, this? <laughs> I was walking home from yoga one time, and I saw AP, I was IRL streaming, and APG's walking out, fresh <laughs> as fuck. Like, he's got he, some good drip, bro. He was, he was even like, "Thank God you found, you got me today." <laughs> it was just seeing what he got. Why is that Brad's voice? But yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like I, uh, uh, IRL streaming a little bit, and I don't know. I just have no. Fucking, I don't know. You talking about like Halo Two? It's just like God, man. I just used to like, just want to sit down and fucking play. It's because it's like when you're IRL streaming, it's kind of like you're like doing YouTube again, but like live without yeah. editing. It was kind of nice. It was like not. Sh sh it was fucking annoying. Holding holding my phone like this is really fucking annoying. Yeah. Like tires my shoulder, and like I'd have to carry Mophies and stuff. But it was definitely less stressful. But like, I definitely. I'm going to have to figure out a balance between like gaming and IRL streaming and it's very I don't know, hard. just hearing Halo 2 and yeah, it's, it's just so like, hard. God, I don't get that feeling at all anymore. Yeah. I don't know if it's cause like we've grown up or something or if the games are just different, but I think it's just, I think it's growing up though. Yeah. You can only do shit for so long. I feel like some, some I feel like the kids out there right now are like getting that same feeling with like Valorant 
or like Apex or like, you know, like they're like playing those and getting the same feeling that we had, like just like addicted on 12 hours a day, yeah. like neglecting their home. God, yeah. dude. Skipping school. These motherfuckers are like night. eight and yeah. they get to start with Fortnite. Yeah. I don't know or if that's going to be imagine good for the Val. brain. Could, imagine yeah. pl- being nine years old and playing Val. You check your shop every day, the dragon I don't know if vandals in the shop. Yeah. Mom, that please. Gonna, that's going to fuck some Please, kids. $20. I mean, like, look at us. We did that. Like, we're pretty fucked up, right? Yeah. I mean, I, I had Halo 2, and that's like, it's like starting your drug use with crack. Yeah. <laughs> and then, like. Yeah. Yeah, you know exactly. It really is. <laughs> Even like Halo Three was. Like, then you transition to like, like I heroin, spoiled, like yeah. Halo Three, like theater mode, co-op campaign, custom games, like the late night customs, the matchmaking, like. It was then you like, get Halo Four, and it's like, what the fuck? My shit's laced now, and it's like it, it's just not hitting the same. <laughs> yeah, and you're like, you know I'm what I'm saying? Over the yeah. <laughs> no, I know what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I uh, yeah, I don't know. I just can't. I don't. Do you enjoy? Do you get that feeling anymore? What? No. Wait, you don't? You no. grind with I, anything? I get it from like, like I feel like if you start a new game, you. Start I've been playing World of Warcraft a little bit, and like that at first, that was like crack. Yeah. Like World of Warcraft is crack. Wait, you like, started because we played. Oh, is that the a year I or two it was ago? Diablo this whole time. No, that's. I know longer. we played a little for a year or two, but of course you just you were grinding hard as fuck. Yeah. And then did you you just recently start again? Yeah. And I mean, it's, it was like crack at first. I'm a little more over it now, but it was like, yeah, dude, World of Warcraft is like a drug. Like, that shit can hook you for like a couple months, couple weeks. Like, it'll get you bad. Are you grinding Halo at all anymore? Yeah. Like, I mean, we stream like every just day. just scrims or like, do you grind? No, I play matchmaking too. Really? Like, on X, whatever. But like, I mean, uh, it's like my, my matchmaking experience just isn't really fun. It's just like dick riding, getting teabagged by like everyone, <laughs> getting stream sniped. Kids probably are just like playing me with the volume on on my stream, like, and then they come in on just blasting Drake, <laughs> yeah. not even like paying attention. And they're like, "God, yeah. this isn't dopamine." And yeah. they're like, "Fuck!" It's just you're trying but. so hard to like not give any sort yeah. of, not even notice that yeah. you match. Just played a game. <laughs> yeah. just like, just, uh, <laughs> I'll do good shit on and just be like, "Oopsies!" Like, just not give a fuck, no reaction. Like, Dude, Halo Infinite gets no gives no fucking dope anymore. <clears throat> it did at first. Halo Infinite at first gave a lot of dopamine, and then I think the first thing that killed it was like the cheaters. Remember that yeah. hiding guy used to like stream snipe me and cheat and it was just like, okay, that was like the first killer and then like everyone stopped playing the game and then, yeah, but I mean it was fun at first. <laughs> Do you think uh, if this BR actually comes out ever that it'll give any, <sighs> damn, yeah, I mean, both of it's you crazy when we the yeah, same yeah, thing. Yeah, right? Because like, dude, like, I'm I mean, just sick of yeah, hearing sure. shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, great. I would love a BR, but like, come on. I mean, dude. T- I I don't expect a BR to be. I mean, it's Halo Infinite. Like, it's gonna. It's infinite. All right. There's no other Halo <laughs> in the works. Okay. Like this Damn. BR could come out ten years from now, and people will be like, "Well, yeah, it's Halo Infinite. Like, what did you expect?" And I mean, it's just it is what it is, right? It could be awesome, and they can also come out with one, and it could be shit. That's like true. they could just fuck it up. There could be cheaters. There could be it's just like. Yeah. A hit I, I, have no, I have no expectations yeah. anymore. If it happens, either. it happens. I, cool. That's how I am with Call of yeah. Duty. It's whatever. <laughs> They can come out, they can, I don't know, I just have no, like you said, expectations for it. I'm not no excited. Excitement. Yeah, it's just like, like, I'm not, I just feel. You, dude, <laughs> I, I feel like you guys broke up with the same girl. It's I just feel like, like dude, you have the it, same ex-girlfriend. No dude, if, it, like, if I get on sure, tomorrow just... and it says like ranked arena, battle royale, ranked, and you're like, oh, what the hell? I'll play it. But then yeah. like, am I going to expect it to be godlike? No. Like, I'm just going to play it and then be like, oh yeah, it was pretty cool. I don't know. Um, they have to but... clutch up on that. Yeah, That's but like, do you think there's someone hard at work right now making a BR at that fucking studio? Like, like really, right now, think about it. Is someone like putting in what code? else? What else? <laughs> could, what else could they fucking be doing? Laying on though? the couch and being like, I mean, they don't really give a fuck. Like, uh, Watching they're like, bitching, but like, I don't really care. They kind of accepted the game shit. Like, I don't gotta like really. F- I like, would love it. like a someone to just like vlog in like the three four three studio, dude, like, I, or activist. Just like, what's everyone doing? It's like, what are you guys doing? Just playing Val? Like, <laughs> what are you guys doing? I wonder if they hear this though, and they're just like, God, they're so fucking stupid. Yes, for sure they do. hundred <laughs> percent. They're grinding, just like trying to like keep it up, or keep it fucking. I don't even know what they're keeping it. But it doing. would just take so <laughs> much. It's running. It would take the so much to alive. bring like a, a resurgence of player a player base back. Like when a game comes out and there's a big, big, big drop off, like what 
the, what would you have to do in order to bring th- like bring people back? Yeah, because at that point, I mean, if you just fix the, the BR is the only hope. It's already yeah, good. The BR is the only hope. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Because I feel like they did a pretty good job with mouse and key making that more viable and usable. Dude, I was playing but, against a kid last event that was using mouse and key, or like two events ago. Like I was at, setting my shit at up at the event. Yeah, at the uh, event, like one of the am teams or something in pools. Like I'm like setting my shit up. I look across. He's setting his mouse and keyboard up. <laughs> And it's like a sick ass mouse and keyboard too. I was just like, what the hell? Like it was like, I don't know, like some ultra lights from shit. And like I was thinking, like, I'm kinda shook. This guy didn't make eye contact with me through the monitors not once. Wait, right? you were playing against him? Playing against him. Uh, yeah. Shit. I forget what his name was, but he was uh I was looking at my teammates like, yo, I'm kinda like I'm kinda shook. We can't get shit on like a mouse and keyboard player. That'd be kind of insane, no? And like, I mean, like, imagine just, just like a Korean team comes out of nowhere yeah, with mouse and key yeah. sits across from you for like somehow BXRing like don't, on the new game. Don't like, miss a snipe. Dude, yeah, I was kind of shook, but I mean, like, yeah, he was, I mean, it wasn't that crazy. We just kind of beat him, but. Yeah, they just, they choked in the beginning by not, all keyboard and all the big streamers that use keyboard and mouse, like, they got to play. Everyone's super hype about it. But it just felt like shit. It was like they could not, you just couldn't keep up with mouse and key. And then they eventually they fixed it. It was too fucking late. Everything takes forever. Yeah. Kids don't get banned right away. The wildest thing was the vacation that 3 for 3 took. I'll never understand that. What? Like, the game came out in November, and then they all took a vacation in December to January. Or like, really? I mean, it was something like that, where it was like, we're out of we're I out think of I kind of remember that. I don't, I, don't, mad. I don't blame them. Just well, because... Well, okay, I don't blame them, and I also don't support it. Like, picture, picture working on something for that long, and then, like, it comes out, and everyone loves it, and you kind of just get to, like, sit back and relax and enjoy, like, yeah. the tipping for a little bit, right? Just like, and then not... you're like, let's go on vacation, because I just worked, like, for three years. But at the same time, there's another side that, like, you should keep the game going and keep the hype into it, so you should work right. a little bit harder for a little bit longer. I get it. Like, that's the most but... important part, I think, is, like, as soon as the game comes out. Yeah. Once it's at a stable place, right. then take your break. Right. Like, if you're playing Valorant or something right now, like, it's on a stable place. Go right. Take vacation. Like, yeah, yeah. There's not really anything going crazy. But yeah, I get what you're saying. <laughs> and then come back, like, during the next season or the, the next they just, Everything's on fire. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck happened? Everyone's gone. <laughs> Everyone's like, gone. Play Warzone again. Yeah. Like, the Grinch came through the whole fucking game. But I mean, shit. I mean, it's like, it is what it is, right? It's like, I don't yeah. Know. We'll see. I don't think there's ever been a hit scan BR ever. And I know we were just like I don't know if it'd be like that. To be but it kind of there's I mean, no it kinda way. Kind of has to be, but like I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it's perfect with the shields. Like the game has shields built in. Like it'd be great. But like I said, dude, if you're expecting a VR to come out in the like the next like I'd say fucking five years, really? I'd call you faded. Yeah, I'm not really. Gonna lie. Yeah, I'd I say was five thinking years. like because <laughs> I don't know. I have really low expectations, bro. I really do. I really do. I get that. I always I think I I'm, I'm trying to like convince myself like 2024. <laughs> yeah. But like that's not even a thought in your Fuck head. No. A good BR coming out in 2024? No. They might throw something out just to like try to save the game. Um, Is this even the real fucking Halo? Throw Are we still in a beta? Throw it on the campaign. It's still map. a beta, bro. <laughs> like, what does that mean? Like, I got on a scrim the other day and I saw like I'm like 2200 Onyx, right? I get on and like Sparty, I'm like scrimming in Sparty. He's like 2,900, and I'm just like... What the fuck? I'm, and I'm just like, wait, that doesn't fucking mean anything. Never mind. What the fuck? Like, yeah. why are we still, like... Ranks, ranks and shit. just mean nothing. Like, it just means nothing, and I just don't, like, get it, and I don't get the... Do you have fun scrimming anymore? I do have fun scrimming. What? How, yeah. how scrimming's been going how really well, How have you been actually. the last huh? six months? Well, to be honest, and, like, the last two events, I, I like... Could have been a better teammate. Really? Yeah, I, like... I mean... I just, it was hard not to get complacent just because, like, we had just won a Worlds, and then we came back and won the first event as well. And then it was, like, the DreamHack event, and then that was kind of a checkout in the last event. Like, I could have played a lot better, could have, like, tried a lot harder, just, like, I mean, it it is what it is, but, like, the past week or two, like, we we had a big talk after the event, um, similar to how we had after Kansas City last year, and... It's good. It's really good. I it's mean, like we need to lock the fuck back in. Yeah, pretty when much. When you say you could have been a better teammate, do you mean like before the event, as far as like practice? Yeah, you're show, yeah, practice maybe and up. just like at the event, just like, I mean, like, dude, we were like when we would lose a match, like, I was just like, eh, fuck it, like, and that's just not really that good. It's like, yeah, it's not, it's not like how I want to be. And do you like, feel like you're usually you're like the after a loss or something you guys go backstage and it's like 
when you're on your shit, you got something to say. That's yeah, like, like Tommy talks a lot. Like Tommy probably talks the most. It's just like, but when I talk, like it's usually something really important. Yeah. And like, yeah, like if I start talking, like all the heads turn. You know what I mean? It's like mm-hmm. one of those things. It's just like, because like if I have something to when say, when you speak, they they will really listen. Yeah, because like they just know I'm not gonna like say some bullshit or like say some shit that doesn't matter. Like it's, I don't talk that much, but when I do talk, it's pretty important. And like Tommy handles most of like the in game stuff because like. You know, he's he's like really nerdy with everything and yeah. like knows all the ins and outs of the game. So like we usually look to him for like certain things, but yeah, just like overall like mentality, stuff like that. I mean, it's usually what I do, but I thought about this earlier. You've been going to events since two thousand ten, right? Two thousand nine was my first event. Damn. But like I didn't go to another event until two thousand eleven. So I went to NI. Okay. Nine. I was thinking two thousand ten was your first event and then you like disappeared and then you went pro in two thousand eleven. Yeah, like I went That's... to two thousand nine Anaheim only because it was like 20 minutes away and then like a part of me was it's crazy too because like i could have very easily just went off and like to high school because i was like a sophomore at the time or a freshman and like i could have very easily just like not gone to another event yeah. like very easily where especially would that, where, where would you have went because instead you came back and you've been playing for fucking 12 more yeah. pro it's, years which is kind of crazy that's what i'm saying it is crazy like the ripple effect that it took where it could have, I could have very well been, you know, like finished out high school, not touched Halo again, really got sucked into like the party life and like being friends with everyone and yeah. all that shit. And then like try to go to college and then like, it, I mean, who knows? Do you ever wish like, like, I mean, this fucking, this shit worked out pretty well, for, uh, yeah. about as good as it can go. Yeah. Um, do you ever like wish you experienced, like I've talked about that. I'd never got to experience like the college experience. Yeah, I do. I like, do feel like I missed out on that. Like, just, like, the partying. And you ever wish you, not wish, but, like, you just think about it, like, where the fuck would I have, like, what the fuck, you you think you would have just, like, went to college, or did you, you didn't go to any college at all, right? I went to community college for about a week. Nice. And I remember I raised my hand, <laughs> I raised my hand and asked to go to the bathroom, and the teacher kind of, like, laughed at it and, like, smirked. Like, and was fucking like, idiot. You don't gotta fucking ask. Like, and I was just like, all right, bet, just never went back. And then, like... <laughs> For like two months, I was telling my dad I was going and just lying. Were you, when you started college, were you into Halo? Yeah. Th- no, no, no. When I started, when I started college, Call of Duty Ghost just came out. Like, Damn, just that's not out. a good and then, Yeah. And then I was playing that, obviously, and trying to go to events and that. So I just kind of decided, like, this isn't really for me. So I just kind of left and then told my dad. And my dad was really understanding, to be honest. Like, he just, um, which is kind of surprising it's without surprising. like yeah. successful he he is. Yeah, I mean like he just looked at my mom. I remember like when the way that he said it to my mom too was like it was just really understanding. Like he was just like, I mean, it's not for everyone, right, honey? Like that type of thing. Yeah. And I was just like, yes. Your mom's crying and shit. My mom wasn't crying, but right. she was just like yelling at me. Like, what right. the fuck's wrong with you? Like, what are you doing? And I was just like, no, trust. I'm gonna go for it. Trust. <laughs> There's something special. I'm gonna here. be a multi gamer. <laughs> like, didn't mean shit to them back then, but like, yeah, I mean You have any idea what you would have done? Um, like college were you thinking like i wasn't i didn't really have a plan shit? i remember <laughs> i remember in high school like towards the last like couple months you know everyone's kind of committing to colleges right and like i'm at parties and like okay growing up in socal so just growing up in socal you just gotta learn how to just be like socially manipulating okay like i'm just gonna just say <laughs> that you just have to uh, okay? and then you came so in the halo scene if you're from socal yeah, yeah, you so, have to manipulate so, yeah this so, was like, a big part of people are success. really judgmental in socal okay like orange county like dude it's like you can't get much more judgmental is it just because it's like a rich area probably okay. i mean like i went to private school like i mean probably um like all my friends moms were like on that real housewives of orange county show like really that type of shit yeah so i'm at parties <laughs> I remember all my, this is the only time I ever really felt left out is because my friends are all wearing like their fucking college hoodies, like where they're going to go. And I'm like playing beer pong with someone and I'm just like, yo, Boulder bros. Like, you know what I mean? But I have no, I have no like plan to go to Boulder and I'm Uh, just lying. And I'm just saying like, I'll see someone else and be like, ducks, Oregon, baby. Like, you know what I mean? Just like. Just lying, but I always remember like sipping my beer after like saying something and being like, God, I feel so left out. You were that kind of kid, sort of. I mean, not really like douchey frat, but I can definitely see you as. You just had to play the that, game. Yeah. It was just like part of it. Like, growing <laughs> so. up in Soka, you like had to, or else like you would just get left behind, not get invited to shit. So like you just kind of just you know. Did you have any Dude, that's so anything funny. in mind as like a career besides no. gaming? But like when people I mean, ask I me now, didn't, when people ask me now, I think I would have. Uh, 
I think I could be a good therapist. I think you could. <laughs> I actually do. Um, I think I find it interesting the way that people like, I would just like want to see what makes people tick, what makes them do certain things, say certain things, feel a certain way, just because like it's interesting. I feel like when I talk about that stuff to you, it's like, do you listen? Yeah. Because I actually want to like, see like you, why you're like, why you're saying the certain yeah. things you're saying and yeah, like why you it. feel the way you're saying it. Or I'd want to be like a a veterinarian or some shit. Apart from like the putting dogs down part, like I don't think I could do that. But I would like to like bandage one up and like send him on his uh, way type shit. You know, I just got a dog. Did you? Yeah. What kind? Uh, it's a husky mix with uh-huh. we're thinking like some kind of shepherd. Did you rescue? Lab. Yeah, he oh, was found in good. a fucking trash chute. What? Holy shit! A yeah. shoot yeah. like at, at an apartment. Yeah, that's what? crazy. Dude, and then, who can throw a fucking dog dude, down the trash? What kind of evil and then me and person. Michelle, my girlfriend. How's that going? Actually, this is the. I don't want to talk about my relationship on here, but it's the best relationship that I think I've been in. I think like, so. I don't even really know you guys that say. well, but I I feel the same way. Like not, we both like disappearing from any socialness for like weeks. But then it's just like, let's go on a bender today. And, that's fucking, cool. and that kind of just works with me. Yeah, that's kind of how you are. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, it's going really well. That's good. We pretty much live with each other. No dramatic, useless, low IQ arguments. <laughs> Those are no, like, <laughs> I feel like every girl, it's just like, hey, or you walk in, they're just like, hi. And it's <gasps> like, what's fucking wrong? <laughs> And then you have to have that whole talk. Every girl kind of has that a little bit, but like this is just not as much as like she'll just what I've you. experienced before. Um, so it's pretty good. But anyway, we got a um, I, I don't even want to say we adopted him because even now I'm still like I don't know about this little fucker. Maybe we can find what? him a home somewhere. What? But <laughs> back to the trash chute. Yeah. What the fuck? No, because <laughs> my Michelle's friend she found her at the apartment she worked for she found the chewy dog. the dog yeah, at the, the dog. apartment she worked for she kept it for like three weeks and was like i have to find it at home told michelle about it and i was like well let's go over and look at it we go over and look at it and i was just like god he's perfect <laughs> and then just a little pappy puppy and it's just like this was this is maybe this is what i needed and so we i was like all right I don't want a dog, but we can like try this out. Let's take him home, see if it's easy. Why don't you want a dog? If it works, it works. Hmm? I feel like you would be a dog guy. Kind, kinda. Um, but Michelle already had one dog, Milo, Uh-oh. who's like four. So I was like, let's take Uh-oh. Chewy. We named him Chewy. Let's take Chewy home, see if he gets along with Milo. And it, it literally, and if it goes well, then like, sure, fuck it. And we bring him back, and it couldn't have gone worse. Like all really? they do is fight. All oh, not really? fight, but like Chewie's trying to like puppy bite him. Milo can't stand him. Milo just wants nothing to do with him. He has this screeching bark that he does, mm. and it's just it pierces your ears, and it happens a hundred times a day. And they just, just fight be over patient toys, with him. and he be pisses, patient. and he shits, and you he train him, train him, and be patient with him. And he bites, and he's so we've. Like, I've been looking at YouTube videos. Like, I'm give a trying, solid effort. Like, when I'm up. just, like, laying in bed looking at TikTok and I just hear, like, a yelp from downstairs, I'm like, it just, like, scares me a little bit. No, I get that. It's just, it's fuck, and it happens all the time, and it's so But, I mean, you got to think, bro. If it, dude, out. a dog got just got thrown down a trash chute, it's probably, probably had a horrible experience. Yeah. It was, it's probably That's why, why the dog it's is like, so I anxious get the, I get the thoughts of, like, and, God, like, almost wanting to, like, not give up on him, but it's just like I don't know if I need this stress. Like I did. No, I mean like maybe the dog doesn't need that stress either. Maybe you should help him. You know, well, I am. No, you're not. Oh, yes, you're sitting I am. in bed watching Trust TikToks. Me. I have been. I just have. <laughs> and you're to just like be, shut up. Be my fucking therapist. <laughs> you would I be have a good, to, he is I'm being just a therapist. Here. He's telling you what I've, to do. I'm treating him very well, and he loves his life. Um, but God, it's fucking stressful. I just got approved for a greyhound adoption. So oh, I'm that's getting, cool. I should be in a greyhound pretty, Don't those really? pretty big. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Are you going to keep in the Civic? Uh, no. We're, oh, well, um, we're about to look at houses and stuff. Oh, that's cool. So that, yeah. that, should be, that should be really fun. A greyhound? You yeah. need a... Can that be... Well, I guess if you get a house, it'll be better. Well, greyhounds are actually like ex-race dogs because kind of what mm-hmm. I'm looking for is like retired race dogs. Uh, oh, they're actually cute. like super chill. Yeah, because they're because they're the fuck out. They're tired done. Yeah, they're so yeah. tired. They're like, I put in my uh, my time. Like, I'm why, ready to lay on the couch now. Why do you yeah. want a greyhound? I just think they're 
Beautiful. It's and really I, I like the idea of like, like adopting a, a dog rather than a puppy. Because mm. uh, adopting a dog, and especially a dog that's already put in his work. Dude, like I didn't, already I didn't run. know of the puppy phase. Like, damn shit. He's run. He's won his money for people. He, he's ready to retire. Like, that's kind of, I feel like that's kind of cool. Yeah. And plus, I've been running and stuff. So, like, if I ever wanted to take him for a jog, even though apparently greyhounds don't like jogging, they are either yeah. like, they're a hundred or nothing. Yeah. Mm. Like, I, I like, want to run as fast as possible or I want to lay on the couch. I heard it's not mm. good to run with your dog because the pace is so weird. Like, they yeah. either have to go like, slow walkie or like or like you're dragging them like yeah, yeah, yeah. it's, not, it's, not it's just like an awkward pace for them yeah. or something do you ever i feel like you're an animal yeah. sort of lover what about do you ever think of getting a yeah i want like dog? i want like uh well honestly when i was hanging out with you a lot uh i did i was considering getting a cat really just because they're so easy that's what i'm saying and, it, and like yeah it'd be <laughs> much easier but like i do plan on getting like a cut like a set of dogs like three but like it's when i get a house though yeah um I wouldn't do it in an apartment just because I would like want them to have like a really cool backyard and a bunch of space and like, you know, freedom. So I just like I'm kind of waiting on that, but I do plan on getting a couple of dogs, you know. Guys, we got to take a break real quick. This fly cast podcast is brought to you by the best corduroys. Take your gaming space to the next level with the optic gaming bean bag by corduroys. This exclusive bean bag is durable, long lasting, versatile easily converting from a chair to a bed if needed making it perfect for when you need a quick nap during a long gaming session with corduroys never go flat design you will be chilling on clouds for years to come up your game with the optic gaming beanbag available for sale now on corduroys.com and don't forget you can use shop pay to split your purchase into easily manageable payment plan back to the podcast do you have a plan of the next few years? Yeah, or is I it mean, just like, like, I do want to get a house. Um, it's just hard because, like, if it were up to me, if, like, in a perfect world, the HQ is in California, <laughs> yeah. and we all live in California, right? and California is awesome, and I think we'd all like it, but I don't think that's possible. <laughs> um, so, I mean, I could plot that a house here and just, you know... I don't know. I guess we'll have to see, but I do plan on getting a house. I'm kind of over like the apartment life and, you know, I feel like I'm ready for that next step in my life. So we'll see. Yeah. That's kind of how I am. Like I, I, I looking for a house around here, but also Alexis has already has a house in Arizona. So I'm thinking about going over there for a little, for, you know, like a month at a time or something. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, figure it out. Feel what, I mean, a, a bunch of people are moving and Matt just moved into a house. Matt, is it? Uh, did you move into a house or apartment? I moved out of the house into like a duplex style. Why? Uh, my lease was up to my house. Oh, okay. Just to be like closer to Dallas? No, way farther. Oh, shit, really? You're way, you're way farther from downtown? <laughs> now you're an hour and a half away instead of 45 miles from downtown? What? Holy wait, shit. how long of a drive moved, is that? I thought you moved closer. Dude, how hard do you work? Like, holy shit. Bro, just to set this up, Matt, see the fucking, I don't know what that's called, the little wheel. The dolly. Dolly. He's fucking lugging in chairs and couches and yeah. he fucking had this in the truck of his, or the bed of his truck. Yeah. Shout hardest, out Corduroys, probably, by the way. Probably the hardest yeah, work I've ever seen. Probably the he hardest is, work I've ever seen. He is a hard worker. You got to think, like, uh, I wonder if Matt's going to cry whenever the... The hex quarters is going. This is this is more of this is the Matt Craig quarters. Yeah, I, I mean, more I, than anything, it's fucking yeah. obvious. But we're in the hex quarters right now. First time I've been here, and I, I think I did a photo shoot like three or four months ago or something. But besides Damn, that, really? I haven't actually like sat in here and like hung out, and I would say since like last year. I like the quiet. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, yeah, I really do. Like, I don't really know how it is at the downtown office, but like. It's definitely quiet. Yeah, but, like the corporate is here, and then you walk through a private door, and there's sort of mm -hmm. yeah, it's sick, man. Like, it's sick. Definitely. Like if I walk past someone and I feel like they don't know who I am, that's gonna piss me off. Nah, it's like, well, fucking... We're all here, and uh, no, because last time we were there, it's like, a lot different. Than that's last what I'm time. saying. Oh, is it? Than last time, yeah. I'm guarantee you, everyone there knows who you are. Yeah. Was it because everybody got fired? Uh, there was, there's been a lot of changes, I think. Uh -huh. So 
I feel weird walking around like not knowing people, but it's just like you both look at each other and it's just like Yeah, not like a not like an egotistical like you better know who I am. It's just like a we're all in optic together, like we should know each other, like type of thing, you know? Yeah. Um It's definitely a different vibe than this. We should do a video where we sit down. This was the closest of the close. Yeah. Everyone it was just one big hung living out room. together. Yeah, yeah, one big living room. Like it wasn't too close to where like your mic is picking up everything I'm saying and yeah. blah blah blah. But it was like if I wanted to talk to you, it was literally ten Roll steps. On away. Over. Yeah. yeah. Every nice. once in a while people come into my chat and be like, Shut up. Matt's trying to play. Oh, oh really? shit. Bro, I know I, I that's never me, I promise. <laughs> I can't even really hear you that much when I'm playing. I know people people used to I used to get annoyed. I mean, you sometimes were when I was, you were next level. I don't were know what it is because I'm pretty like <laughs> You were annoying just because you wouldn't stop bitching. Like it was never just like an okay stream. Isn't day. it crazy it's how like, that's been going on since two thousand like four? Yeah, it's like your it's only 92. appeal. Like you just yeah. have to scream and rage and get shit on. Like it's almost like I don't <laughs> the worst appeal ever. <laughs> Can't just be chill and shitting on people like so much uh, better. You, I, I feel like I kind of maybe used to mm-hmm. a little bit. It might have been, been a few. raging forever. <laughs> you were literally known to be like the rager. I really you have. hysteria yeah. and fucking just a I complainer. I don't know if I raged this much back then. I think it kind of flipped. Back then I would complain, but it w- wasn't necessarily rage. <laughs> and now I just fucking rage yeah. for no fucking reason either. I've but yeah, I remember playing over here and just Hex would be like, Shh. like I would, I would actually like I die with sniper. Full, I'm like fucking, why the fuck are you fucking there? And then a shut up. Hex would yell at me, and I was like, wow, that just really made me mad. <laughs> like I remember one time I was like, you shut the fuck up, and I was like. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't know stuff like that used to stress me out a little bit but it was all, uh, <laughs> some great did memories did I ever tell place. you what happened when I was playing only up uh uh-uh. uh so we're or playing only maybe. up we, I, I had never played a game like that like jump king or only up or getting over it nothing like that so we I, we just we start playing uh, Blake George and I all start at the same time and try to beat it so Blake beats it and he's just kind of like watching George and I and George George is getting course, George is getting farther and farther. You're and I keep I keep messing up at this one spot. And I me- I hit uh, did, have you, have you, either one of you played I haven't played I've, I've watched it. Yeah, I've, seen I've watched it. Okay, well, it's the the anime girl jump where you, you have to make this like super far jump. Okay. And I miss it and then when you miss it you got to go back like 20 minutes and then you that's work so, your way back that's up. That's so fucking annoying. And I got I I missed it 3 times. <laughs> I did Nick like that. Dude, I I haven't no, touched it. No, I think it. Nick I would it would be the best stream it, if it you was, played yeah. it. Take you like a month to complete the game. <laughs> or oh, I, I just never can beat it. I'm just that pathetic. But then you go viral because you can't beat or, it. And then right. the one time I beat it, it's just a super viral clip. Oh. Yeah. So I, I miss it for the fourth time. And like, I don't know. Like, I, I did some like introspective thinking after this happened because <laughs> I didn't know what was going on in my life to make me act this way. But I, I missed it the third, the fourth time. And I grabbed my mouse, and my mouse was char- it was charging, so it was still plugged in. Oh, no. And I went to go throw it. I threw it on the ground. It bounced, went over the trophies, and landed behind here. And then when I turned back to my monitor, the wire from the mouse had ripped up and hit the monitor, and the monitor was shattered. Oh, <laughs> my God. And I went, uh, I just broke my monitor. <laughs> this was on that, stream? It's that, it's that white monitor over was there. Was I here for that? I don't think so. Okay. I think I you like would have You would have probably turned around. I would have been like, what the hell? <laughs> but I was like shaking. I was so mad. And I then I was like, what is wrong with me? Yeah. <laughs> like, like what? why did it's I just doing do that to you? Just well, like, imagine what it would do to him. Oh, dude. dude. Just like, genuine rage? Like not even like genuine. I'm streaming. No, no, no. I am really pissed off. <laughs> it this needs ju- Chuck. I didn't even get like a good like clip out of it. The clip like <laughs> you could, just, the clip like you, I wish I would have like punched my monitor or, like really like just like you were just like sat back it. down just like kind of embarrassed while also raging. Right. Like, just, like, but raging. I literally like I, it, you see like the it's like post nut clarity happened, but yeah. like post rage, and I was just like, "Were you like embarrassed?" Yes, yeah. I was streaming, and then Blake and George were like, "I'm trying to save game. it and like make it a clip, like just joking, like yeah. not like just joking, but just like <laughs> God, I, I, I hate like, this game." Like, I don't know. I think I tried. You were too filled with genuine rage, but it was really genuine rage. It. Oh, and sucks. then I like thought I like got home and I was like, maybe I should like talk to a doctor like maybe i should get some like anti anxiety <laughs> that's crazy or something yeah nick maybe you shouldn't play that game yeah don't play it probably won't the dopamine but maybe worth. did you beat it yeah i eventually beat it was the dopamine worth 
No. Okay. Took too long? No. Uh, I felt that way just the other day. My, I've, I've stopped vaping and smoking and all that, but I'm a fucking idiot, so I bought a Delta 8 pen. And then... <laughs> it's not stopping I'll just, smoking. I'll just hit it's it at... Smoking I'll a vape. Hit it, I'll hit it at <laughs> night sometimes, but my dog was chewing it up. My like girlfriend was standing there like folding laundry or something, and I just see Chewy chewing it up on the bed. Like what? His name is Chewy. Yeah, <laughs> I see Chewy chewing up my fucking shit on the bed, and I grabbed it. I was like, "What the fuck? Fucking waste the money!" And my girlfriend was just like, "Like the first time she's ever saw me rage," and I was just like, "Uh, just kidding." Yeah. Ah, sorry, I forgot I was. I'm just like, streaming. "Gosh, fuck! I'm just so tired of buying these." And I was like genuinely fucking embarrassed. When I was a kid, when I was a kid, I used to take my Xbox controllers, like take it by the wire. Like I'd be playing a free for all with Killer N, just like tr- D riding so hard. Gee, gee, close one. Like sending him mess- sending him messages and shit, trying to get on his list after. Then I'm just like getting seventh place. <laughs> Just bashing my fucking controller in the ground, like breaking my mics. Like it used to be bad. I was a fucking rager, and I, I don't do that anymore. Do you remember like? Do you remember like? <laughs> you used to um like having a good friends list is a pretty unspoken talking like talking about time. Yeah, because it was super important to I think every single player. Then it but it was limited too. There's yeah, only to 100, 100. 100, 100 spots, uh, and the more pros you had, dude. How many? How many friends? Did you remove to get to replace it with a pro? Like so many, and then motherfuckers would notice too. Fuck yeah, what? If they get on and see ninety nine, it's immediately you go down your list and see who removed you. You know? Yeah. Who was the first pro that added you? Killer N. Really? Yeah. So you you rode him to victory? Yeah. That's good. I don't know why I was like just a random person that like somehow got in the fucking lobby. Dude. I'm pretty sure he removed me shortly after. But you remember how Roy had um his name was like TNB Roy. And but it was with a zero. Do you remember that? I think I remember. Yeah. Okay. So like I matched him in matchmaking, and what, I'm like 13. I'm I'm in like I'm like teabagging him, just trying to get his attention. I'm just like be friends with me, no. <laughs> like you know, just like shooting his body and yeah. shit. And I sent him a message after the game, like one v one. And Roy's so fucking competitive. He was just like, sure. I'm surprised he did. And that. I was just like, what the fuck? So I play him. And like, I what was play his reach? Is Halo Three? Uh. We play Guardian, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm like fucking him up. Like, bad enough to where he is, like, Roy's such, such a nice guy, too. Like, yeah. he's not, like, getting, like, heard about it and talking shit to me. Like, he's just like, dude, you're actually pretty raw. Like, and he's like, hang on, let me remove someone. Let me add you. Like, we can play matchmaking some time. And I'm just max doped up. Like, uh, <laughs> okay. Like, so what? happy. <clears throat> and, like, I remember I didn't think it was him at first because there was a zero. Because he had, like, R-O-Y, but his was a zero, but the fake was with an O. Yeah. So, like, the zero, I thought, I didn't know that. I thought it was flip-flopped, obviously. So, when he added me, I was like, yeah, I have the real Roy on my list, I think. And then, like, I don't remember how else I, I started meeting people. I mean, I was just riding my way up. But, like, I just remember all the times when I'm like, yeah, I'm going to quit this fucking game. I'm going to go, like, party and shit. Yeah, and I'm just right. going down my list and, like, can't remove him, though. Like, <laughs> shit, I can't remove him. Uh-huh. Like, just thinking that about, like, 30 And then I'm just like, fuck, my, my list stayed the same. Like, I was removing so many people that I was, like, playing Halo 3 with since the start. Like locals, I'm removing. Yeah. That's that's the one that hurts. When you remove like a local yeah. for a pro, you, you get messaged, you get texted. You know he's your local. He's got your number. Like yeah. texting, texting and t- calling you fake and shit is like <laughs> a different type of hurt. And you're just like, it's not even like that, man. Like yeah. I mean, like but you're thinking like, nah, I'd do it again. Like yeah. fuck it. Like yeah. <laughs> having a good list back then was crazy because when you looked at someone's list and it was like godlike, you'd be like, what the fuck? This guy yeah. has to be someone. I hated seeing like, like average people with like goat. To your yeah, friends. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, fucking dick dude. riding. Fucking. I used to go. I used to go on people's like like Call of Duty <laughs> pros list, and then like find someone that I didn't recognize, and be like, who is this guy? And then yeah. I look at his friends list, and be like, oh, he's like no one. Like you might probably paid to get on there, yeah, or something like that. Wait, who was your first? The first person who yeah. Did you added chase me? the COD pros. A lot. Of, it, it started with COD snipers. And what then, was the first dopamine? Friend. friend request when yeah. you see it pop up uh, to be your friend. stainville added me after a That's gb oh, yeah. no, no 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 sorry not stainville foreplay wait for a gb like, after the gb like good shit you're good <laughs> no oh like 
He sent me a friend request to invite me, and I accepted the friend request. Okay. <laughs> okay. That, the, <laughs> still, still, <laughs> still, the dopamine was there. Okay. I, I could see it. I could see it. Uh, that was pretty sick. That was in World War II. That was pretty uh, sick. For a GV, he had yeah. to add you to your movie you after. Who knows, man? Like, who knows what don't happened? Even, you don't even check Dude, after that. No, you don't. I It would pop up and it would say, like... You got the dopamine from seeing it pop exactly. up. Exactly. Got it. Like, or four play NVs online, and I'm just like, yeah, I mean, that's cool. I, I'm <laughs> scrimming later tonight, too. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I would add, like... I don't even... Actually, I don't, I don't even remember anymore. But I, obviously, I didn't chase as much as you guys, but I, 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 was, I would chase, like like snipers at the time like Folsom and like like all P- Pomage's friends and uh-huh. stuff like that I never liked Pomage though but the, you know it's funny how it works out right, right. <laughs> or when you start going to events and people are recognizing you I like, do remember walk, the first time I got or Ogre 2 is T squared or something at the yeah. Dr. Pepper booth you're just like what the hell just like do that to each other <laughs> I remember like like the second wave of um so like not the adding part, but I remember when I first joined the COD scene, when I left my Halo, my initial like team of Halo pros, and it was me, Snakebite, Enable, and Ace. Um, I messaged basically every single pro, like in or, the COD community, to team with me. Really? Yeah. Like I'm sure if if any of them go back, anyone that played Ghost at that time that was decent, like anyone that was on like Unite, Curse LV, Curse NY, like all those people. And I was messaging them saying like, hey, like, give me a shot. I promise I'm going to be fucking good. And just got egoed by so many of them, you know? And then like, I think that's what made me like really just want to fucking like shit on all of them. Yeah. You know, like some of them would give me like a decent response, you know, like I remember like Spacely. I was like, yo, like there's not a spot right now, but like I'm definitely down to like try like you're discussing blah, blah, blah. And like. I wonder how many of them have thought about it, like or ha- like they've been in a call by themselves and been like, bro, I should have just picked up formal. Like, yeah, I've always fuck? I always kind of wondered. Like, it seems like, especially during the vision days, like the the dynasty team, maybe later dynasty team. Actually, no, the early early dynasty team too. You you had you and Seth, where you kind of coach, you kind of pride yourself on coaching Seth and to have like a killer mentality where he like yeah in twenty seventeen like hated people. Yeah, I was sick of seeing him going to events and like fucking being buddy buddy with all the kids that were beating us. Yeah, and like I just didn't like that, and like, yeah, I kind of brought out a different side of him where we just started talking shit to everyone. Do and, do you did you? I haven't seen that side of you in Halo. Is it because? Uh, well, may, but maybe it does exist. No, 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 know. it does exist. It does. It does exist. It's just a lot more moderate now. Like, I mean, like talking shit is just whatever. Like, I mean, we were young; it was fun. Right, right. Like, right. Nowadays, dude, like I can't even like have someone talk shit to me to where like I take it seriously enough to want to talk shit back. Yeah, like for real. Like I just can't. I mean, it's whatever, but like to my team when we're talking and shit, like I just instill like little things, you know, like just trying to like steer them on the right way and not do dumb shit and not, you know, do yeah. like the, just like the am shit. That's what I would like refer to it as just am shit. And you just can't do that. And you just have to understand if you want to keep winning and like be like a, a an intimidating winner, you just have to do certain things. Yeah. And like once you have it, you'll understand it, you know, it's, a, but it just has to be taught at first, you know? And then, like, no one really talked to me. But. So, like, when you walk on when you walk on stage and you like on at the Halo stage and you look at your yeah. opponent, is this? It's still just like because in I don't I mean I don't know if if people really recognize it, but like the IW year, Black Ops Three and IW year, it was like every time you walked on stage, you wanted <laughs> you wanted to like oh, demoralize. I pulled the, the feature stations team. in that year and just see like fear in the other team's eyes. Like they'd be like actually scared to play us. Like. Yeah, I I just knew like remember there was a, that Atlanta event where we where Damon got the one v one versus Panda. Yeah, we played like fucking six more teams after that, and all six of them had the same look on their face. Like, holy shit, these guys aren't even like losing maps anymore. Like, we just went like three oh three oh three oh LG yeah. Envy. Like all these people all the way to the final win the first best of five. Like that event, like I've never seen so much fear in like people's like eyes as I'm like sitting down on station two because it's like we're like losers like fucking quarters yeah you know and they're just like holy shit these guys are these guys they beat panda what the f- i thought they were five two like you know what right. i mean just like that like fear it's like i don't know it's dopamine you know yeah and then you just three them and then you just get up ggs don't even like talk to them you're just gone they're just like what the fuck just happened it's like i mean all that that does something to someone you know they're yeah, not gonna want to yeah. play you again obviously right um so i think there's a certain way to win there's a certain way to lose that you can just you know you can keep everyone like i don't know where you want them kind of thing did you ever do that what <laughs> he was a shit talker i think <laughs> yeah i was a shit talker in the beginning so until i started getting cracked out of my mind 
Then I would just like win. I never and look knew over you. I like, never knew you in your shit talk. <laughs> <laughs> I never knew you. I just in your get. I just get three and be like, GGs. <laughs> 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 oh my god is, wait what were y'all talking Scarily about talking shit? we were talking about like yeah just like the mentality i asked him i asked him if like the the killer mentality that that the dynasty team had specifically him and seth because ian kind of went back and forth and damon just was always high yeah. it seemed he's always just double fisting the apes <laughs> <laughs> but uh it seemed like like they like especially that black ops 3 and iw year it just seemed like they Wanted to <sighs> that demoralize. Was a, that was such a good fucking feeling, wasn't it? <laughs> to yeah, just that's what I was saying. And just like seeing, feel like the man every yeah. but the re- event and the, and the reason I asked event. The reason I asked, <laughs> reason I event, asked yeah. is because you told me he told while while you were gone, he told me that he hit up all these people whenever he first got into Call of Duty, and some people just never hit him back, and he always wondered like, you know, should I have just team with formal? And then mm-hmm. he like made it a purpose to like shit on them mm-hmm. and that's like that kind of, it's kind of the feeling and the vibe you had going into call of duty like that was your first call of duty initial experience but halo was a halo even when you were playing cod at the highest level it always felt like halo was your home even from like yeah just knowing you i mm-hmm. guess uh because like you would finish scrims and then we would go watch nick play or nick we yeah, watch- i mean halo is always gonna have a special place in my heart like yeah I played the CODs, right? I played like the MW2s, the MW3s with high school friends, but not like you guys did, you know? Yeah. Like, I know you guys grinded it the way I grinded Halo 3, and I appreciate that. I respect that. Like, we just both picked our game, whatever. And I'm sure you guys played Halo 3 casually. It's just like, right. it's whatever. Um, but yeah, Halo was like my childhood, basically. So it's always going to be special to me. And yeah. like, COD was, COD was fun. Don't get me wrong. COD was fun. It just, um, it just doesn't hit me the same way Halo does. Yeah. That's all. It's a lot easier to go into a, scene and like i mean trying to think of who are legends like in call of duty that you wouldn't have really like been watching but like i guess like like aches or stainville or people like that you get you get into the call of duty community and you're like i don't fucking care they are i'm gonna shit talk them but then you go back into halo it's like now like if you if you play like roy or ola or you know Mm -hmm. is there a little bit more respect there are you still trying to okay i think i think the halo community okay i'll speak for the halo community back then the Halo community back then was very respect worthy. There was a lot of respect in Halo because the people were actually respectable. Like, even if they were dickheads, you still respected the fuck out of them. The Hysterias and the Knicks. Like, yeah. you just kind of respected what they did because it was hard as fuck to go pro back then. Like, being a top eight pro was fucking hard. Mm. Like, getting top 32 was an accomplishment for these AMs, you know? Nowadays, people don't give a fuck. They're like, dude, I got you know, almost made pools, yeah. you know, but like, I remember getting 17th and being hype. Yeah. In it's Halo like, two. Yeah. That shit's hard, uh, dude. Like back then it was really hard. So like, I don't know. Um, the call of duty scene. <clears throat> I think the COD community, the problem with it is that everyone thinks that they're actually like the best player on their team. They deserve to be on phase. They deserve to be on optic. They deserve to, you know, <laughs> they think that they think that they're much better than they actually are. And, the respect isn't really there. Like, if you watch a COD S and D chow, and just between a bunch of players or something, the amount of like little the little shit talk that you hear that's actually genuine is like crazy. Because in Halo, you you wouldn't really say like, "Dude, Ogre Two's so fucking bad," you know, like because you just respect the fuck out of what yeah. they've done. But like, you know, you'll hear people talking shit to like Arcides or something, like an, an S and D kid who plays for nothing. Yeah, you know, and he's like talking shit to a two-time world champ like right, in the yeah. game it's just like that's just not how halo really was it, it could be now i don't fucking know i don't really pay attention that much now but like back then it was just like you had genuine respect for the players and the pros and now i, I mean i don't know the call of duty scene has always just been very very weird in that regard because people just think that they deserve the best and they're just not that good cod kids are a different breed like the even the halo ams it's like even if they beat formal and matchmaking it's like they they fucking know but like i feel yeah. like the the cod kids it's like they'll they're genuinely the whole, fucking hype they beat the, you in ranked or something i think it's the yeah. whole cod community like the, they're a little different even mm-hmm. like if you like the hardcore like if you look at the chats or you know the forum pages or anything it's like the 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 short lifespan that they have on like what is respectable is <laughs> yeah. insane yeah like this like you said crazy. like alec like Alex, Alex got rumored to be on a team this year with Illy, and I don't know if that's really the case anymore, but 
that's those that's three rings on one team mm-hmm. as a start. And people are just like, oh, well, they had a they had a rough year last year. So that team's already a bottom two team. Like they're just disregarding two of the be- one of the two of the best players probably ever, especially like, I, I don't know. I just I think that's just how Call of Duty is like the, the yeah, whole the, the whole like Reddit, Twitter, Twitch chat, that little triple threat yeah. is um is a vicious cycle of like just people talking to talk and hopefully they get tipped and like, you know, they just want to seem like they know what they're talking about. I get it, bro. I get it. But, like, do they actually know? No. <laughs> but, like, I get it. It's fun to talk about, and it's fun to think that you understand what's going on, and you and you understand why they're doing bad or why they're doing good and why so-and-so is better than so-and-so. Like, you don't really know, but, I mean, the fantasy is, is fun. It's what keeps you interested in the, in the scene. So it's like, I, I respect that. But, um, yeah, I mean, like, I, I know there's probably COD players who are going into that Reddit after they lose a match and reading what the people are saying, and, like, it's probably affecting what they're doing, in the, like, in-game. And I just, like, feel I pity that so hard because, like, I mean, like everyone, everyone that like takes criticism a certain way, like you can't go into a Reddit and read all the things that people think is wrong with you. And like, right. Like, how is that not going to affect you? Yeah. You know? And like, you have to really have a strong mental to be like, no, these guys are just, they don't even know what the fuck they're talking about. But like, I know there's players that are just sitting there reading that as they're falling asleep at an event with a losers match to play tomorrow and thinking like, yeah. nah, I just got to fucking play good enough so that they're off my dick. Like, you know, it's yeah. just like, it's, it's bad. Um, Dude, like I would video. be a horrible pro player. Holy shit! I would have to not have a phone on me. I'd have to have a little beep, a flip phone. Yeah, you're if talk- you want me, call me. You're in YouTube comments now. Oh, dude. Yeah, but oh, that's, that's what okay. But that's kind of crazy. Fun. That's kind of fun. Well, like on our crazy. podcast YouTube comment section, like people, someone just talk shit. Hits. It's only on the flycast, and then I just try to hit them with something big. Like I hope you like step on a nail when you walk to your, your car. Spawn. Yeah. I've started becoming a responder, but see, I don't know. Some, sometimes I am, but it's fun. It's fu- in, in a fun way. Is it? I, yeah. Yeah. Like I, <laughs> I completely stopped responding to anyone, but then sometimes I just get an itch. I feel like sometimes I feel like you never respond. I mean, dude. To, I, <laughs> okay. But, okay. Yeah, but like, it is what it, there's like, a big difference between bro. someone being like, dude, Hitch's laugh is so annoying. And then someone being like, holy shit, if Nick would have played better, maybe they wouldn't fucking suck. Yeah. There's a I mean, big difference. I get that. They, it, no one's ever said that, though. It's just like, I mean, I I I won't respond if I see something that's original and like kind of funny. I'll yeah, like yeah. laugh at it and be like, "Cause that was kind of funny." But most of the time, it's just like cringe and like repeated yeah, yeah, jokes, yeah. blah blah blah. But I mean, yeah, I don't I don't really. We've been in, we've been in this for so long. It's just part of it. It's just like part of the game. You put videos out, you should expect the comments. It's true. You should expect the feedback, or else like, why the fuck are we doing this? So, um, yeah. It's Who whatever. are these fuckers that are commenting this shit? Is it like? <laughs> I mean. Like I just think I, it's crazy. I understand to like... certain things, but I saw something. <laughs> I might be able to find it with my phone. Someone like feeling like shits... so strongly about a specific thing about a person, and then typing it. Like you must fucking really fucking hate it. Like <laughs> yeah, like what, what is like... actually going on in your life? Someone, I want to find it because someone tweeted me today, just like talking <laughs> shit. And of course, it like I see. Someone said like it's been three year this is the three year anniversary since i like rejoined optic and like Mm -hmm. and then someone responded like i don't know why they fucking picked up the bum (laughs) or some shit and then i was like like i'm scrolling down my mentions everyone's like love him one of my favorite episodes i fucking love maniac we love you so proud of you so and then i see that and i'm like click on his profile and i start looking through his shit he made his account this month this year and he is shit talking everyone there are it was certain like, kids like that, I've noticed. It's like, rumored Rambo just... coaching Seattle Surge. He responded like, why pick up that Canadian fucks? Like, yeah, no, I get it. Like Every, and it was like 10, t- 10 tweets just today. Like they only have replies to like a certain community, like a yeah, COD community. But or it's or talking community. shit. Just shit talking. And then there's like random feet pics that are retweeted. It's all <laughs> yeah. like the same shit. Give Give away, away, there's random Give thirst away, traps just going on. You're just like, dude, your life is a mess. Like this is insane. Like, it's oh either, he's either 13 or going through it. I, yeah. I like, I can't even get mad at yeah, you like I that. Wonder because what I, I honestly do. pity the fuck out of that, man. I'm like, dude, this is, this is horrible. Like yeah. I feel so bad that like, like you feel the need to do there's this every something, day. There's something, there's something, there's so much going on that has to lead them into being See, in that, that in, mindset. That interests that interest the fuck out of me. That's like uh, the therapist thing. Like, I wish I could sit down with one I wish we could, like, yeah, like, get what? a fourth chair. Like, 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 like so happened? why did you, like, start talking shit and then, like, actually hear the response, you know? I don't know. Has anyone ever interviewed Twitter trolls? Imagine that's 
I think that would invite be, them out. It would be hard because like they'd be trying to be entertaining too, and like trying. I to feel yeah. like they would just a little fucking hard. bumble. I mean, whatever. It just depends, but like they would just come up here and fucking choke. Just but it would be a else. good flycast interviews number or flycast sits down with optic reddit's number one hater or something that's good no because now you're gonna make people start doing extra hating like you're kind of trying to just stop it just talk about something else i promise yeah i promise next week we have uh we have a little uh thing that nick and i are doing where we're going over our top 10 favorite drake verses do you have anything that hits the top of your brain yeah (laughs) i got a couple he immediately went went, okay like i really like certain drake features like um Stay scheming. Stage. Like, um, what's that song with YG? Fucking. Who do you love? Yeah, who do you love? One's really good. Uh, That's I didn't even remember that one. The one with Rihanna. Fucking. Oh Nana, what's my, what's my name? Oh, nah, that one's nah. really good. Oh, what's my name? No we're, stylist. We're thinking like with French Montana. That yeah. one's really Dude, fun Drake. Oh my God, I forgot about no stylist. Drake. Yeah. Featuring Drake is a fucking. Banger it's just a cheat code, time. dude. Like it really is. Can't take a joke. One of the features, really uh, one hundred by the game. Oh, All I have ask one. is one hundred. I hate that. I hate that Rico is what like Meek and. I didn't like Rico. You didn't? No. I, I didn't mean, like really I liked like it, it but like the what? the one fucking um, what's the other one they came out with? Um, back to back. Oh no 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 no! The music video where they're crashing cars into each other. Where when they Drake when they made up? Yeah, Drake and Meek. And they became like, friends again and made a song together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fucking banged. Fuck, I can't Rico remember. Stuck in my head. Um. I can't remember. Right. Drake, Meek Mill. What's the Drake Meek? Actually, Nick's got it. I think. Hey, man, going, going bad. This yeah, going bad. Going bad. For you going anyway. bad. Yeah, some... That verse is hard as fuck. Uh, so many good ones. Yeah, I have but like, I know, I know some of your favorites are like cameras. Well, yeah, cameras. Nah, bro, but that's yeah. just like a that's different. That's just like a vibe. Yeah. Like that type of vibe is like. Cool See, that's Drake. what I don't know. I don't know what to go for for this. I'm going. Episode. I'm next trying week. to go with like my like, favorite. Do I, do I go with my verses? I like the one with little baby, really like a lot. <laughs> fucking yes, indeed. Yes, indeed is so fucking good. Like just when Drake does that certain type of like rapping, I just love it. Like, the like bounce. Rapping. I just don't know yeah, whether to go like, for like Damn, that. He's, like really going harder now. Like he just doesn't. He really wanted to go harder. Like, like I do know. I go for that type of stuff or do I go with like the? Wait, I, have a, for... I literally have a playlist called Drake's Most Final. With like... <laughs> 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 let me just let me just go down this list. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What about ignorant shit? I that's on my list of potentials. Uh, yeah. I have it on a notebook. I like Sneakin's uh, verse. Uh, I mean, like, see, like I have like certain like Chicago freestyles in here, you know, because yeah, it's just so like a, it's just like such yeah. a good song. And those are I feel Don't like the ways. vibes are my favorite. <clears throat> but this isn't a vibe. Drake. It's not top ten vibes. I know top ten verses. But like his verses on the vibes are like. I mean, yeah, then go for it. Like if you, I still li- I, I like you. Do you like look that, like, what you've you done. in the six. Like when, when Dude, he's you like, in the six going crazy on that. You in the six makes me right. Um, or wait, that's not it. Is I it? saw a a TikTok or a, a Instagram reel that's what was this guy? These guys debating Drake, and he said this one dude said Drake doesn't have any classic albums. Was it the fucking idiot with the glasses? Yeah, it was the idiot. With I the glasses. hate that guy. <laughs> not that I like wish him bad in life, but like he's one of those like I, I'm sure he listens to like Earl Sweatshirt, ah uh, yeah, and yeah, Hot yeah. Future, okay, and Andre Three Thousand, mm. like that type. And he's just he shits on Drake every single time. I gotta go see him by the way. Okay. Wait, what did he say about Drake? He said he has no classic albums. That's just like crazy. Yeah, yeah and I'm and fucking... What are your top three Drake albums? Take Care. So Far Gone, Take Care, and... You I like think So Far Gone that views. much. I do so like So Far Gone's it. good, but... I like... If if you're reading this, is it might be... It'll never... I don't know. See, that's why it's crazy, too, because we all have different top threes, but they're all considered... Like, I have nothing was the same in mine. Yeah. And Take Care, oh, yeah. and probably... I like views, dude. If you're reading Kinda. this, is crazy. I really like views too. I the mean, second half of "If you're reading this, it's too late" is insane. Yeah. It is just like the yeah. fact that you can put, you can like interchange all of his like albums is like kind of crazy. This guy's been doing it for so long, dude. For, dude, for so uh, like we we started thinking about doing this, and dude, you can go back to you can go back to to verses from like 2010. 2011. Oh yeah, just... tapes I I listened to from like 2007. I forget, called like comeback season. If you were gonna ask Drake like, one question, like not some NPC shit, fuck, like I'd have to see. I gotta. What's your favorite song? I like you know, like you this. can't ask him shit like that, right? Like, that'd be like how Minecraft? many times has he heard that? Like right. fuck. Yeah. Like what would you ask him? Now I see. <laughs> I'm on the spot. 
I so would I, ask him. I feel like if I, I, would, I would had ask an opportunity him, to I would ask, ask him, him something, I'd what is, think about What his best verse he's written for someone else is. That's what I would ask him. Something like that. I would ask him, I would did you? Know some, like, I, ask him. I would want to know some like behind the scenes. I'd shit. ask him, did you write everything on Wu-Tang Forever? That's verse. Just so you can like. <laughs> just so, give me some breathe. peace and tell me you at least wrote most of this shit. <laughs> Just the fact that he wrote all, like a lot of Kanye's album is just crazy to me. Like the Father Stress so My Hands and all he that. Writes like, so he wrote many all people that. shit. I don't know. I think I think that shit's cool. But like, anyway, when we tweeted that, or someone responded, like, "Who fucking who? The guy that steals everyone's lyrics?" It's just like, shut the fuck, <laughs> <laughs> fucking, just like, do. I don't. Who are where? Who who are you? Where are you? Why? Those are the people that listen fucking to the Chicago idiot. freestyle, and they're like, "No, dude, he stole this from Eminem." <laughs> it's like that's not. Yeah, I can't yeah, All right, well, uh, that's a good way to end it on. Drake, a little Drake stand. Yeah. Anyway, we're we doing. And ended with Drake. We're doing a uh, top mm-hmm. ten Drake verses next week on uh, on the Flycast. So, if you like Drake, Thanks definitely listen to those. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. It's been Thanks episode eighty four of the Flycast. You. That's been the the multi platform, multi FPS champion. Wait, what number was it? Now a oh. regular on the Flycast. Now a regular. Eighty four. Eighty four. Eighty four H four F. That's crazy. We'll see you next time. All right, peace out, Matt. Say Matt. Matt, play that fucking. Oh yeah, Matt, play play that fucking outro shit. (laughs) 